Hello, guys. Uh, good evening. I'm audible. So, if you are not able to unmute, just to tell me or confirm me in the chat box whether you can able to hear me. Can we start the session? Great. Okay. Great. So, if you guys are facing any network problem, like while talking, uh, let me know. That way I can change the Wi-Fi connectivity. So, my voice is clear, right? Fine. Right. So, I hope you all know, right, uh, this session we planned for Java, not for other programming language. So, we are going to concentrate uh, yes, of course. Before you can able to see my screen as well, right? Can you able to see my screen? Can you see my screen? Okay. So this session is for Java. So what I'm going to cover, what I plan to cover, I plan to cover core Java, part, not advanced Java, remember? So I'm going to cover core Java. Because in the real time, you know. So the first step, you, you should understand the basic programming language, the fundamental through the core Java. Once you have good knowledge with respect to core Java, maybe later you can learn the, the high level language, maybe a Spring Boot or Hibernate kind of a framework you can go for. Now, what is Java? That's the first question, right? So whenever, uh, if you learn any programming language, the first question might be, what is Java? But before that, we have to raise one more question, nothing but what is programming language? Before understanding what is core Java, you should know what is programming language as well, right? Because in the world, we have a many programming language. We have a C, C++, Java, Python, Perl, Ruby, Shell script, JavaScript, .NET, like that. We have many languages are available in the market. So then what is programming language? Why should I need to go for programming language? Actually, if someone is telling right programs, programs is nothing but set of instruction. You can call it as set of instruction. Set of instruction. That that used to, to create that used to, to create a software programs. Program is nothing but whatever the set of instruction that you are using, that you are writing in order to build your, in order to build your software, then only the computer can understand, right? You have to write some set of instruction that computer can understand. For that reason only we are going for programming language. So it is used to, to create your software program. So set of instruction used to, to create your software uh, programs. That basically we can call it as programming language. What is programming language? What is the set of instruction that you are writing? When I say set of instruction, you will follow some kind of syntax. You will follow some kind of grammar. In English also, we will follow some grammar. If you take Tamil, we will follow some grammar. If you take other language, we will follow some grammar. In the same way, if your machine should understand, right, your computer, that's to execute your code, then you have to write some set of instruction. Thereby, we can able to create our software program. That way, basically, we can call it a script, or we can call it as code, or we can call it as programming, whatever it may be. So, sometime I want to develop some application, right? So, in the real time, I want to develop some web application. Take an example of Amazon. Flipkart, Mintra, eBay. So these are the different web-based applications are available. When I say web-based application, the application that we are accessing through the browser, the application that we are accessing through the browser, that we can call it as web-based application. So if I want to develop any web-based application, what we require? We require programming language. I want to develop some mobile app. In mobile itself, we are using the different app. Facebook we are using, Twitter, Yahoo we are using. There are different apps that we are using. So in order to develop your mobile apps, 
we require the programming language using that we have to write the setup instruction sometime when you can develop a video game how can you develop the video games of course you have to write some setup instruction how you are writing with the help of the programming language you are writing if you go in the real world everyone they are using the artificial intelligence they are going for artificial intelligence so how can i build one artificial intelligence app yes of course you have to write the setup instruction for that you have to write the coding suppose you want to do some scientific scientific simulation you have to generate one scientific calculator comes in a scientific simulation you have to do how can i then develop a scientific simulation again you have to go for a programming language in desktop itself we are we are using a different application right say we are using vlc media player we are using windows media player microsoft word excel there are different application that you are using in your laptop in your desktop then of course for that also you should learn the programming language when you have your programming language you will write the setup instructions you will do the coding that way you can develop some software you can develop some application there are different programming languages are available agree there are different programming languages are available like we will go for low level programming language low level programming language so when i say low level level programming language an example c you definitely hear this word c c language is the low level programming language assembly language earlier people used assembly language this is one programming language this two language may be like this language you can call it as low level programming language what do you mean by low level programming language low level programming language which is understood by the machine which is understood by the computer than human and language which is understood by machine than human that is called low level programming language if we go see this assembly language and all computer can easily understand the machine can understand but the human it is very difficult to understand that's the reason when you learn the c right it is bit difficult because the the scenario or the the syntax that we are calling it is bit tricky in the same way different programming language in that we have a high level programming language also what is high level programming like java python these languages we can call it as high level programming language because it is human readable than machine readable machine won't understand the java and python and all but human can understand human easily see the syntax human can easily differentiate the syntax but if you go for machine machine only understand binaries machine only under, understand zeros and ones right c is the low level language but java and python is a high level language and the we have a object oriented language everything we will see practical but i am telling you we have an object oriented language which language we can call it as object oriented this java c++ that and all we can call it as object oriented language like that we have in many languages guys in the market like we have a functional language we have a scripting language sometimes i need to go for markup language like that we have in many languages when i say markup language sometimes i need the html and css to build my application that and all comes under markup language python used for scripting perl also used for scripting that scripting language and if you ask me functional language yeah we have a haskell is the functional language we have a lisp it's a functional language like that we have a many language in the market again it is purely depends on what is your specific requirement of the project which programming language that you need to select it is purely based on the requirement in the real time when you join a company you have some requirement based on that the company the project the people they will select the particular programming language but we have many programming language like low level high level object oriented functional scripting parker like that we have many languages are available in the market again it is completely based on the requirement if you ask me what is programming language in order to develop an app in order to develop an application we need to write a set of instruction 
that we can call it as programming language the set of instruction that used to, to build your apps that build your apps that we can call the programming language now i told you we have a different programming language are available in the market but which is our concentration in our series we are only going to look for java we are going to focus on java part then you must to know what is java is java is also your own programming language is it a high level language or is it a low level language it is high level language because human can easily understand the syntax of java than machine because machine will only understand binaries zeros and ones computer will understand only zeros and ones but the, as a human as a human we will understand as a human we will understand this java python and all it is a programming language so java is a programming language as well as you need to remember it is an object oriented programming language object oriented programming language if you ask me what is object oriented programming what is mean by object oriented programming i will tell you later as up to no need to worry i will tell you later what is object oriented programming if you want to understand this object oriented programming i have to cover six topics what are they the first topic i have to cover object then you should know what is class then you should know what is inheritance then we have a topic called polymorphism polymorphism then we have a concept called abstraction and finally we have an encapsulation when you know this six concept then only you will get to know that what is object oriented programming but as of now just a little bit remember java is a programming language that is object oriented the important features of your java is the important features of java is which is everyone they know right it is a it is a ora when i say ora means what write once run anywhere java is a write once run anywhere it means that java is platform independent what it means what is right once run anywhere definitely if you studied csc or it department you should know this one but anyway i will tell you what is right once what is run anywhere so suppose you have written some java code you have written some java code generally you will write the java code java syntax inside a file called dot java file what is the file extension may be consider this is test dot java what is the extension name test dot java dot java extension always you have to write the java code inside your file called dot java extension once you have written the code java has dedicated compiler java has dedicated compiler if you ask me why do we need the compiler because the machine will understand only the binaries right machine will understand only the byte code machine will not understand the java code for that reason only compiler plays a vital role so if you need compiler again you need one software actually i will tell you later jdk jdk is one software you need in your machine that way you can able to convert your java code into the byte code byte code is the machine readable code consider like it's a machine readable code so suppose i am going to develop one software say suppose i am going to develop one gaming software i am going to develop one gaming software for that i have written one java file i have written one java file now what i am going to do i am going to compile this code with the help of with the help of a compiler and i am getting the output byte code right byte code which is not understood by the human which is computer can understand computer can understand now all this task i have done in my windows machine writing the java code compiling by the java compiler and i got the byte code this task i have done in the windows machine now what i am going to do because you also need to play the game right for that reason i am going to share my byte code for you guys for you people some people they are using the windows machine some of you guys using the linux machine 
some of you using the mac machine i'm not sure which machine that you're using but you can be able to use my byte code and you can able to play games you can play a game this is called as platform independent this is called as platform or os independent os means what operating system so write once i have written only one time i have written only one time in my windows machine but i am running on windows machine i am running on linux machine i am running on mac machine write once run anywhere this is called as platform independent why most of the people they are going for java this is the another reason java is a programming language fine java is a object oriented programming language good java is a platform independent language when i say platform independent write once run anywhere in a single system you can run write your code and you can give the byte code to any operating system the output always same right the programs written in java can run on any hardware any operating system without modification that's the that's the you know the important point everyone we are moving for java am i clear guys so far can you confirm in chat box do you want me to repeat anything quickly confirm please guys quickly confirm i need to move for next good good okay so that's the reason i told you java is a platform independent language one time you can write it but run in any web today you know in the modern world it is applied in different places in the today world also whenever the people they are developing the mobile apps especially android mobile they are developing with help of your java some enterprise application also some organization application also software company also they are preferring the java and if you see any video game most of the time they are use the java only so sometimes you can see some financial application like e-commerce platform or you can see like banking software healthcare right so even the financial and scientific application definitely we are using java to develop their software to develop their software most of the time right in developing the mobile app developing the enterprise application video games financial and scientific application people they are going for java java is more popular language this java is more popular even last 2022 also top five languages definitely java will be there in top five definitely you can find java even though java came into the market in the 1995 in the year of 1995 only java came into the market but today 2022 around 27 years right java is in top five so that's the you know beauty in java that's how java is more popular if you join any it company the people always you know expect do you know java because a person know java they can able to learn other programming language within a 10 day within a 15 days they can able to learn any programming language if you know java you can easily learn other programming language but if you know python will you able to learn java no java is different python is different syntax is completely different python syntax is damn easy but java is bit difficult but initially it is difficult but once you learn you will love java and you can able to learn any programming language right so that's the reason you know earlier in college and school and you can see the java but now it is is python python is easy sometime uh, you will work with uh, maybe a data science you will go for machine learning you will go for artificial intelligence there the scientists you know they don't want to invest much time on programming if uh, someone is in maybe consider the scientist that guy they want to they want to do something but in that case they want to they need some programming language but if we invest in java it is very difficult to understand for that reason only they are preferring the python so whenever if you want to 
if you want a simple language go for python but if you want to learn some security point of view or enterprise point of view in that case it is better to go for java and i will tell you how the java came into the market when did it actually came into the market so remember java is introduced by a guy called james gosling james gosling is the person who introduced java guys who is developed java first developed by first developed by the person called james gosling and he is working in the company called sun microsystem that time he is working in the company called sun microsystem maybe i can say in the early of 90 in the early of 90s the early of 90s right 1990 right the james gosling introduced a language called java but remember that time the name is not java that time the name is oak so that time the name is oak it is not a java it is the name called oak later only it is renamed to java later only it is renamed to the java actually java is the copy bean name so that james gosling inspired from the copy bean then he, he made like uh, this uh, oak to java oak is one uh, tree name right so if you ask me when the java introduced publicly java was publicly released java was publicly released in the year of remember in the year of 1995 so publicly it is released you know in the year of 1995 but early of 90s one language got created which is called oak but it is not released actually so 1995 we all got java jdk 1.0 it is the first version of your java it is released on java 1.0 got in 1995 right so initially java it is acquired by the sun microsystem but later later right in 2010 in 2010 java acquired by java acquired by oracle oracle they acquired the java from the sun microsystem now all your core of java it is organized by it is organized by oracle remember oracle is the famous company in the world oracle is the company now they are organizing your java in 2010 they acquired your java from the sun micro system sun micro system after that we got many update after that we got many update in your java i think in september 2021 the last release i'm no, not really not release september 2021 i think yes we got the java 17 every 6 month you know java will release every 6 month java will provide you new version every 6 month java will give you new version now java 17 is available in 1995 we got java 1.0 now we got java 17.0 when in the year of september every 6th month they will give you new release the new release i'm not sure in 2022 also we got many releases yeah we will see that one but as of now 17th version is more stable version that is good version this is a stable version right so this is a few thing you have to remember in history early 90s sun micro system the author called the developer called james gosling he introduced a java as a oak but in 1995 only it is released to the market now in 2010 java acquired by oracle from the sun micro system and it is completely open source remember it is completely open source when i say open source it is the free of cost and it is publicly available on the internet it is publicly available available on the internet you can see the complete source code guys you can see the complete source code if someone is asking can you tell me two or three features of java 
remember the first picture you have to tell it is an object oriented programming the second picture you have to tell it is the open source third picture you have to tell a platform independent as of now i told you this later i will cover many features but as of now we know this picture platform independent independent right these are the major features of your job but here again you don't know what is object oriented programming that also i will cover later so am i clear so far any question is there anything do i need to repeat you just to tell me in the chat box that way i will repeat but let me quickly tell you what i told what is programming language if you ask me the set of instruction that we are writing in order to build your app in order to build your software that we can call it as programming language so there are low level programming high level programming object oriented programming functional programming scripted programming markup programming but we are going to focus on high level programming which is human can understand the machine java and python is an example for high level programming and java is an object oriented programming you know java is a programming language it is an object oriented programming language it is a platform independent language right it means that you can write your code you can share your byte code by using the compiler to any people they can able to execute your code on any operating system any operating system it means that we can run our code in any operating system in any platform is called as is called as platform independent is called as platform independent how it is possible it is possible because of byte code it is possible because of byte code how we got this byte code this byte code is possible with help of a compiler which is a java compiler what java compiler is doing the java compiler is converting your java file into it is converting your java file into class file it is converting your java code into byte code your java code is converted into byte code right so that's the reason we are using this byte code we are using this byte code in any operating system right so yeah limit anyway we are going to see everything practically and history i told you james gosling is the person he introduced java he introduced in the java in the year of 1995 it is publicly released that time we got java 1.0 in 2010 from the sun micro system java came arc and it is the open source when i say open source it is a free of cost no need to pay any amount for this particular product and it is the licensed free product when i say licensed free publicly available on the internet it is available on the internet you can see what code the developer they have written in order to build your java the complete source code you can able to see in the internet and features object oriented open source platform independent as of now but many features for java i have to add the multi threading i have to go for architectural neutral strongly typed language it's a dynamic language it's a high level language there are many features but everything i cannot cover now parallel we will cover but as of now three important features you have to remember object oriented operating system, open source and platform independent now simple installation we can see simple installation of java installation of java or uh, software required software required for java software required for java guys it is not only for java for any programming language you have to remember three things three things you have to remember three things it is not only for java 
for any programming language, you have to remember three points. The first one, the first component, the first tool, you need a place to type your code. If you want to write your code, if you want to develop your software, you have to write the code. How can I write the code? You need one place. That is called as editor. We can call it as editor. Editor, it is the place, it is the place where we type code, right? Where we type our code. Where we type our code. So normally we can go for notepad. Using the notepad also, you can type your code. Or you can go for notepad plus plus. You can go for notepad or you can go for notepad plus plus. This two earlier people they have used, right? In 2000, 2005, 2006 and all, people they go for Notepad and Notepad plus plus where they can type our code. But today, you know, the technology plays a vital role. Still, I can able to use the Notepad and Notepad plus plus more, right? Normal Notepad, yeah, we can write the code, we can compile the code, we can execute the code, everything we can do. But in the today real time, no people they are not preparing the notepad, notepad plus plus. They are they are requiring some advanced editor. They need some advanced editor. That editor we can call it as IDE. When I say IDE, what is IDE? IDE is nothing but integrated, integrated development environment. Integrated development environment. So we need some IDE. Where I have to code, where I have to execute, where I need to debug. Like I need more features through normal Nokia mobile itself, I can able to call. But today, do we use no right? We need Android mobile, we need iOS mobile because it provides more feature. In the same way, I don't want to write the code in some place. I don't want to compile somewhere. I don't want to execute. In a single place, I want to write the code. I want to compile it. I want to execute it. I want to debug everything I have to do in a single place. For that, you have to go for integrated development environment. Again, in the market, we have a different IDE. We have an Eclipse. It is one IDE. We have an IntelliJ. It is one IDE. We have a Visual Studio Code. It is one IDE. We have a NetBean, it is one ID. Like that, there are many editors are available in the market. We have a RAD, we have JDeveloper, J-Developer, we have. There are many editors. We cannot name it out. Thousands of editors are available for Java. But what I am going to do, most of my session I'm going to cover in Eclipse and IntelliJ. Because in the real time, definitely more than 90%, not 90%, maybe 70 or 60% company, they are using the Eclipse. 30 to 20 to 35 percent for Java, they are using the IntelliJ for write your code, for compile your code, for execution. So this is the place where you are going to type your code. Right? I'm going to use the Eclipse initially. Later I will cover through IntelliJ also. Don't worry. If I time permits, I will tell you through Visual Studio Code. If you know one editor, that's enough. Not record all the editors should learn. Right? If you know one editor, that's more than more than enough. What is editor? It is the place where we can type our code. Normal notepad, notepad process is enough, but I need some extra features. For that, we are going for IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Can you quickly confirm this? In the chat box, quickly confirm. Okay. Okay. Why company prefers Eclipse? If you ask me, like, uh, I'm not saying that company preferring Eclipse, the person preferring Eclipse. Because when compared to other editor, maybe the person, they used Eclipse more. For that reason only. Not company, not project is demanding like you have to use this editor. Not like that. In my experience, you know, I have to select which editor I have to use. But most of the time I will go for Eclipse because around three, four years I was working with Eclipse. I am good in Eclipse. I have done good hands on Eclipse. But sometimes I will go for IntelliJ also because when compared to Eclipse, I think like IntelliJ is more powerful and it is very easy if you go for some Karate API framework at all. Right. It is based on the person. Actually, you can prefer your editor. 
<clears throat> right say so everyone clear any question fine i hope you don't have any question okay the second one second one now you have an editor you have written your code this this is high level language which is human readable but which is machine readable no right machine readable no so you have to convert your java code into byte code how can i convert your java code how can i convert your java code into byte code for that you would need the compiler the second thing is second component is second component is you need what you need compiler compile the compiler that will convert your java code into byte who is the compiler in java java c is the compiler java c is the compiler the java c is the compiler if you want you have to download jdk from the internet it is a free jdk is the open source you have to download a jdk from the internet thereby you will get the java compiler using the java compiler you can able to convert your java code into byte code remember one second i will repeat you have an editor you have written the java code it is a high level language which is understood by the human but machine is not understanding for machine require the byte code how can i give the byte code for that you have to go for compiler what compiler will do compiler it will convert your java code into byte now who is compiler java c is the compiler how can i get the java compiler for that you have to download jdk from the internet if you download jdk from the internet which is java development kit what is java development kit i will tell you later now as of now you have to download a java development kit from the internet thereby you will get the java compiler using the java compiler you can able to convert your java code into byte code you can able to convert your java code into byte code most of the people right at the time of maybe interview they will ask you right why do we need the compilation they will tell right to identify the error what is the answer from the student they will tell like to identify the errors no guys java compiler is not to identify the error java compiler is to convert your java code to the byte code java compiler is to convert your java code to the byte code because byte code if your machine wants to understand you need the byte code are you getting my point why do we need the java compiler everyone quickly confirm yes i need your response super so java compiler we are not using to identify the error we are using to convert your java code into the byte code now who will execute your byte code who will execute your uh, byte code the your byte code will be executed by your byte code will be executed by jre this is java runtime environment java runtime environment java runtime environment it is the another library maybe java runtime environment is another environment maybe see here see here see this is this is my my consider this is my jdk this is my jdk jdk is the java development kit inside the java development kit inside the java development kit we have jre guys inside the java development kit we have a jre jre is only for execution only for execution we are using the jre only for execution it will provide you some environment for execution it will provide you some environment for execution for jdk for what jdk it is to for compilation jdk is for what it is for compilation as of now this is enough later i will cover the complete architecture as of now jdk is for what for compilation 
JR is for execution. It is providing an environment to execute. It is providing a place to execute. That's it. So JDK is an outer part of JR. Then JR is an inner part of JDK. For what? Here it is only for execution. Right? Suppose I will tell you one scenario. I will tell you one scenario. Listen carefully. Suppose I am going to develop some software. I am going to develop some software. What we need in my machine? What I need in my machine? I need JDK in my machine. If I want to develop my software, what I need? I need JDK in my machine. If I have the JDK in my machine, then only I can able to develop a software. At least you need JDK in my machine. Then only I can able to develop some software. When you download the JDK, automatically, automatically you will get you will get GRE also base. Automatically you will get GRE also. Automatically you will get GRE also. So when you have a JDK, you can complete the compilation. You can complete the compilation. You can able to compilation and you can able to execute also. You can able to execute also. If you have a JDK, automatically you will get the JRE also because JRE is an JRE is an inner part of JDK. I am the software developer. I am going to develop some application. If you want to develop some software, what you require? You require the JDK. Using the JDK, you can able to compile. You can able to you can able to execute. Now suppose suppose I have developed a software. Developer, you know, Dinesh is the developer. He developed some software. Is the developer? I have developed one gaming software. I have developed some gaming software by using what? By using Java. Because in my machine, I have a Java JDK. When we consider I have a Java JDK 17th version. Using that, I have developed one gaming software. Right now. You guys no need to develop the software, right? The gaming software because you want to use it in your Android mobile. You want to use it in your Mac mobile. It means an iOS mobile, right? Now you want to use it in your Windows laptop. How can I use it? For that, I have to give, I have to give a bytecode, right? For you guys, I am giving the bytecode because I already available bytecode in my machine. I have already available bytecode in my machine because with the compiler, I have converted my Java code into bytecode. This byte code, you guys can use it for execution in order to in order to play the game. But now tell me, do you need to compile? No, right? You don't need to compile because I already compiled. Why you guys should compile? Because you don't worry about the code. You are worrying about you are a customer, you are the user. Mm -hmm. You just need to play the game. For that, you only need to execute. You don't need to compile. You don't need to write the code. Then your machine. No need of JDK. Your machine, no need of JDK because you are not going to, you are not going to compile. What you require? You require only JRE. Your machine only require JR. Only JRE is enough. Only JRE is enough for use. Only JRE is enough for the use. Remember. So if you are the developer, you need JDK. Automatically, you will get the JR. But once I develop the software, if I give it to some other person, they want to use that software in their mobile. In that case, that guy don't require the JDK. They need what? JRE setup. They need JRE setup. Are you getting my point? Are you, are you getting my point? Can you quickly confirm or do you want me to repeat? Yes, Okay, cool. So as a user, you need only, you need only what? JRE, you no need of JDK. I am the developer, I need JDK. When I get the JDK, I will get the JRE. Now, I will tell you one more scenario. This is pertaining to developing the software, right? I will tell you with respect to backward compatibility. Backward compatibility. You know, right, I told you, in Java, we have 1.02 feature initially. Now, 
we have a many picture like java 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 .1 now we are adding the jdk jdk 1. Point, uh, maybe 17th version 17th point consider we have a 17th version now if you go for jdk 1.1 right if someone is installed in jdk 1.1 automatically this guy when i say 1.1 what it means 1.1 what they have done in jdk 1.0 they have added some features or they have removed some feature. They have added some new feature and they have given the Java 1.1, right? After the JDK 1.1, after six months, they have added few more feature and we got the JDK 1.2, right? Now in JDK 1.2, they have added some feature or they have removed some feature, whatever it might be. Then only we got the JDK 1.3, right? This is what happening, right? That's called a version. That's called a version. In 17, in 17, in JDK 16, we have added some features. Now we got JDK 17. Then we got JDK 17, right? Now, what I mean? See, whenever you install JDK 17, you will get the 1.2, 1.0 to 16 all your features in 17.0 itself suppose if someone is installing jdk 1.8 what it refers you will get the feature from 1.0 to 1.8 all this feature from 1.0 to 1.8 it is called as backward compatibility it is called as backward compatibility now someone is installing the jdk 1.10 now this guy will get the feature from 1.0 to 1.8 you will get the 1.0 feature, you will get the 1.1 feature, you will get the 1.5 feature, you will get the 1.10 feature. That is called as backward compatibility. Java provides backward compatibility. Am I clear? Am I clear what is backward compatibility? Can you confirm backward compatibility? Okay. 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 Right. Now, yes. Now, quickly we can go for installation. Only two things, guys. Don't worry. Only two things. Only two things. What are they? The first thing I'm going to install. First thing I'm going to install. One is editor, right? Eclipse, I can go for. I can go for Eclipse. Later, I will tell you. IntelliJ. When I cover the Java, some advanced topic, I will go for IntelliJ. If time, time permits, I will tell you Visual Studio Code also. As of now, I will go with Eclipse. The second tool that I am going to install, Java. JDK. When you install JDK, automatically you will get what? JRE also. When you download the JDK, automatically you will get JRE also. If you already know the Java, definitely you have a question, right? Where is JVM? Guys, I am not talking architecture now. Tomorrow only I am going to talk about the architecture. That time I will tell you what is JVM, what is JRE, what is JDK and all. As of now, ignore. As of now, ignore. Because you guys think like I am not telling about JVM. JVM, I will tell you tomorrow. And now for my, for my content, I don't record JVM today. Tomorrow maybe let me talk about the JVM. So only this two software I am going to install. Right. Cool. So go to your browser. Your favorite browser. Let me open the Chrome browsers and I can go for some users. I can go for some browser. Okay. Let me write Java JDK download. Guys, one thing, one more thing you have to remember. First, please try to install JDK and then install Java. Take it fun. First, you can install JDK and then install Java. Because for your Eclipse only, we need the Java. For my Java, I don't need Eclipse. Correct? So, even I can go for IntelliJ. I can go for Visual Studio Code. I can go for any editor. For your Eclipse, what we look at? Java. 
then without java can i able to write the java code in eclipse no right for that reason only i am telling right please install java then go for editor okay now did you remember i told you who is organizing the java java is organized by oracle every six month they are giving the release and click on this and can you see java 19 In September two thousand twenty-one, we got Java seventeen. After six months, October, November, December, January, February, and March. March we got eighteenth version. Again, April, May, June, July, August, September. In September, maybe we got the another version, which is nineteen. I think in September we got this nineteenth version, right? So JDK nineteen will receive the update until March two thousand twenty-three. October, November, December, January, February, March. March we will get the JDK twenty. In March we will get the after six months we will get the JDK twenty. Every six months they are providing their release. Now, based on your operating system, you can download your JDK. Based on your operating system, you can download your JDK. I am not going with Java ninety. i will go with java 17 because i think like java 17 is stable version it is more stable version java 19 it is recently released right i'm not sure whether it is supporting other tools because if i work with the java later i need to work with other software also i have to integrate some other software for that reason you know it is better to avoid the java 719 i will go with the java 17 you can click on this java 17 right so here they have given the operating system they have given the operating system so linux mac and the windows if you click on windows it is a windows operating system right so can you see here oracle no p terms and condition can you click on this and they have given java is a open source product that's the reason they have given it is the open source software The source code is readily available on this particular URL. If you want to see the source code, you can able to see guys. See, you are you can able to see the complete Java source code. See here, they have they have given the Java source code here. Whatever the code they have written, you can able to find it here. But okay, okay. Now I will go for Java seventeenth version. And one minute. This is Java seventeen. They have given the binary zip file and the exe file. And my machine is sixty four bit actually operating system. I can go with this one also. But before that, let me check one more thing. One minute. I will type Java Open JDK download. Java Open JDK download, and you can go here. So if you go for Open JDK, so you will get some benefit, guys. Instead of going for enterprise version, you can go for Open JDK. So Java eleven is a Open JDK. Click on this. Simple, limited. So now directly go for Java seventy and go to your Windows machine. And okay, same. Okay, no problem. So click on the sixty four installer. This one. exe file click on this see it is downloading your jdk simple step guys it is this is how you have to download your jdk right i will send you this particular url in your chat box everyone please navigate to this particular url in order to install your java jdk in order to install java jdk right So I am going with this sixty-four installer. Right. So here, click on this and click on open. Okay. Yes, I have to click on yes. And now it will click on next. Where your Java will be installed? Here only, guys. See here. See. Program files Java JDK seventeen in this particular location only or Java will be installed. 
if you want to change the location you can click on change and you can able to change the location also but i don't want to change the location at all in default whatever the location that have we can go for so remember c program files java jdk 17 this is the new folder will be created as of now if we go this pc and i can go for c and program files and java is there any java folder no right no java folder here no java folder here so it will create the new java folder after clicking on next after clicking on next and it is installing guys can you see one new folder got created which is a java folder that's it don't need to worry click on close now if you open the java you can see the jdk java development kit 17 jdk we got when you double click on this when you double click on this you can see the different folders different files bin config include jmods legal library like that we have many files actually when you open the bin actually you can clearly see right you can see java c can you see the java c it is the java compiler it is the java compiler java compiler so java compiler that's to convert your byte code right that's to provide the byte code so what i'm doing i'm just going to jdk 17 and go to this binary and you can find the java c it is to convert your java code into byte code. so this is how you have to install jdk but see here what they have given right this jdk includes tools for developing and testing program written in the java programming language and running on the java platform and running on the java platform right using that we can able to write a java code and we can able to test it and we can able to run any running on any java platform so any question so far how to install jdk how to install JDK? Any question? Quickly confirm, guys. Any question so far? Okay. Okay. Right. Maybe you have a question. Where is my JRE? Where is my JRE? Inside the JDK, I don't see any file called JRE. Even here also, maybe I am searching. Is there any JRE folder? No JRE, right? Inside the JDK. That's the drawback maybe in 17th version. When you go for JDK, it is giving only a JDK. It is not giving JRE. But if you want JRE, that's very easy. No issues. So simply you can go for JRE 17 and you can click on download. And you can go for this same website you can find right GRE here. Separately, you can download the GRE also. For Linux machine, they have given. For Mac machine, and I can go for Windows. And this is an exe file. This is JDK, but I'm not sure whether do I will get the GRE also. One minute, let me check. Let me check this URL will give the GRE also. Because this is the first time I'm installing the 17th version. Earlier, I was using 14. One minute. Better one. Let me right click on this and delete this folder. Okay. So, along with that, you can go for your control panel. So, can you please click on uninstall program? And I need Java is available. Java. Yes. Just right click on this and install this. Maybe there is a JR is missing, right? I am uninstalling. I want to install. So install this. Install this. Go to the browser. I don't think it's a stable one. Let me go to the eleventh one. That's enough actually for our practice for our Java creation. Go to the Java, and I need the Windows machine. So this is a binary exe file, and install this. You guys can try with this one. Try this one. Sorry guys. Okay, now click on this JDK and click on this and download. 
guys it will ask you to create an account if you don't have a account you just click on create account normal facebook account you how you will create the same way you can create account but i i'm not going to create an account because i already have a username and password i can go with my user id and password actually you guys you guys create an account and then you can go here now we got right now simply go to my downloads folder quickly i will complete guys so this is my 11th version double click on this double click on this any version you can go for guys your wish it is not necessary like you have to go for but greater than 8th version don't remember greater than 8th version you have to go for because other tools most of the tool in the market that will support 8th version so for that reason you have to go for greater than or equal to 8th java greater than or equal to 8 it should have your wish right so now we will check whether gre is available c drive and the program files where is the java folder and i can see the J jdk and i am not sure why gre is not available here also okay but anyway later i will tell you why i am missing the gre here a jdk is available what is the next step the next step i need eclipse i need eclipse so you just type eclipse download that's it the first url the first url i will send you both of this url no worries you can use the same url and all yes uh, sindhu for the eighth version uh, jre is available directly but uh, what i'm thinking like i need to go for greater than 10th version because you know later i'm going to cover some lambda functions and all for that i need at least 10th version for that reason only sindhu i'm uh, installing the java 11th version uh, but let me check from my side why jre is missing and then i will tell you the pro proper path as of now you go with the jdk level so this is the eclipse location source right now super now you can see the eclipse right click on this that's it simple click on download click on download so it will install your eclipse in your machine after installing your jdk quickly install eclipse simple now we are going to install eclipse also go to downloads and double click on this double click on this okay, guys installation at all very simple so once you have to double click and you can go give next next things that's it there is no additional things that we are adding here any software you can install as like you can install java it is also now here you can see many things right eclipse id for java developer it is for enterprise java and you can go for eclipse id for c c++ developer and the emperor c c++ but anyway i am going for first option i am going to write the java code right so click on this java developer and simple it will create what shortcut in desktop because for easy access and in start menu also you want but if you don't want in start menu you can uncheck if you don't want desktop shortcut you can uncheck but i need right so click on this and that's it click on it and accept the license now we will start start installing your eclipse we will start installing your eclipse after completion of java installation the immediately you have to install eclipse which version of eclipse that i am using here you can find it see the eclipse that we are using which is they have given like which is we have given some pair yes here 2022 to december 2022 we got a new package right that eclipse we are using so it will take some time we will wait once it is completed i will tell you so quickly confirm guys any question so far any question if you have any question whatever that i have covered you can tell me i will tell you
this business part. Okay, 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 right. So that guys, now our Eclipse is successfully installed. I'm going to launch. Click on this launch. So it will take some time. After that, Eclipse will provide you some workspace. What is mean by workspace? Workspace means after opening your Eclipse, right? You are going to create many projects. You are going to create many packages. You are going to work different projects. Where the project and all will be stored? It is stored in this workspace. In your machine, C drive, users folder, Dell Eclipse workspace. If I click on launch, right? I will tell you. See, I have a, this PC. I have a C drive. I have users. I have a users. I have a public. Not public, I think Dell. And you can find the workspace here. Can you see Eclipse workspace? 941. 941. It got created. Whatever the project that you are creating, right? Definitely you can see inside this particular Eclipse workspace. Inside this folder, you can see the all the projects that you are creating. Later, also, if you need this project, you can go here and you can get it. If your Eclipse got corrupted, even though Eclipse corrupted, your project will be available here. You can be able to get it all the code that you are writing. Right? So that's called as workspace. But if you want to change the workspace, you can click the browse and where you can select something. So this is how your Eclipse IDE. Simply here you can see, right? Restore. You can click on this. You will get like this. This is your front page of your Eclipse. This is how your Eclipse window looks like. This is how your Eclipse workspace or Eclipse looks like. Quickly, I'm going to cover one or two things. Right? I'm not going to cover complete thing, but one or two things I'm going to cover. So, a small check we can do whether this Eclipse is properly working or not. Whether this Eclipse is properly working or not, I need to check it. For that, you know, can you see the create a Java project? You can click on a create a Java project. You can click on a create a Java project. Something you can give. Any name you can give. Say, the, suppose, this is First Java session. Or we can write right, Java session. I'm writing Java session or Java class. Java class. 8.30 p.m. Java class. 8.30 p.m. But basically, dot is not allowing, right? Maybe what for that, what I'm doing? Java class at 8 p.m. Like that. Simply, I've given one project. Thing. Simply, I've given one project. That's it. Click on. Click on finish, right? Can you see finish? Yeah, you can give the finish. Now see, I have one project called Java classes 8 pm. No need to worry about this thing at all. No need to worry. You, you just ignore as of now. After the project, you know, right click on this, go to view, create one class. Create one class. Simply you can give anything. Say this is test. That's it. Click on finish. Guys, you don't need to worry about why I'm writing like this or not. Why I'm saying, right? Anyway, I'm going to cover everything later. As of now, what I'm covering, whether my Eclipse is working or not, I'm checking. Whether my Eclipse is working or not, I'm checking. No worry, let me write something. Right? So, for execution, you have to right click, go to run as, click on Java application. Now, see, I can be able to say welcome. Welcome to Java classes. Like that, I am right. So if I run this code, if I run this code, I can able to see welcome to Java classes. Okay, perfect. Now your Eclipse is up and ready. Next to maybe all the core Java topic, we are going to use Eclipse this, this Eclipse. That's it. That's it. We don't need of any additional installation at all. Our Java is properly installed, our Eclipse is available. That's it. That's more than more than enough for us. So, 
from Tagore onwards, we will try to understand what is project, what is class, what is public, what is main method, everything I will cover tomorrow. But as of now, what I covered? How to create the, how to install the JDK, how to install the Eclipse, what is Java, why do we need to go for Java, what is the history behind the Java, why most of the IT companies are using the Java. So these are all the fundamental, the basic stuff I told today. But from tomorrow onwards, we will start the exact coding. Any questions so far? If you don't have any question, fine. So, before coming into tomorrow's session, please try to install Java and Eclipse in your machine. And the coding part, the exact coding part, we are going to start from tomorrow. So only the basic stuff that I told today. But parallel, you know, we can go with theoretical part and practical part. We can go parallel. Can we use IntelliJ like that as well? Yes. The same. There is no difference, Ibrahim. You can prefer IntelliJ. Yeah, you can go far. If you want to visual studio code, you can go far. Whatever the editor that you are favorite, you can use that editor. Only thing is Java we are learning. But editor, anything you can go in Brazil. That's your wish. There is no restriction. Later, maybe one or two sessions we can cover in Visual Studio Code. Same two or three sessions we can cover in IntelliJ also. Fine. Fine. Every editors are same size. Yes. Since the every editors are same. Only small, small difference. One editor will give you new features. One editor will give you additional features. That's the difference. But for Java, most of the people favorite is Eclipse. I see around 60 to 70 percent people they are using Eclipse. But sometimes you know the people they will prefer IntelliJ because it's more powerful, which is provided with the JetBrains. It is available in the form of community. Also, it is available in the form of enterprise. Eclipse, it is fully open source. But if you go for IntelliJ, right, community somewhat is better. But if you go for edit, the enterprise version, where you have to pay some money to get the editor, that is more powerful. But for practice point of view, and all, you don't need of enterprise version. You can better to continue with the community version. Right? Uh, but still, if you are, if you want some lightweight editor, and all, you can go for Visual Studio Code. You know, right, Visual Studio Code is not only for Java. Visual Studio Code, we can utilize for Python. Visual Studio Code we can use for JavaScript. For most of the programming language, the favorite people, right, they will go for Visual Studio Code. Right? You also try with the Visual Studio Code. And uh, maybe five years back, six years back, a lot of people, they have used the uh, uh, NetBean. NetBean is one editor is available. And along with that, you know, you know Oracle, Oracle favorite editor is JDeveloper. Adebari, the IBM, the company is IBM. They are giving RAD. RAD is one more editor. Like we have a very editor. But again, in the interim point of view, real point of view, what editor is enough? Which editor that you can? It is your convenience. Am I okay? Is that fine, uh, Sindhu? So, any other question? If you are fine, uh, we will wind up today. Uh, let me tomorrow. Okay? We will see tomorrow to understand the program. Fine? Okay, guys. I think uh, everyone fine. So, if you are having any question, 
Yeah, maybe you can privately pick me also. I will help you out. So, yeah, guys. In the group also, you can post. If you have any clarification, I will help you guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I will end the meeting, guys. Thank you.